And if you would like to donate to help the people of Fiji, you can do that by going to abc.net.au slash appeals. The Australian government has already committed millions of dollars. Soldiers, helicopters, supplies and the Navy's largest ship have been sent north to help clean up and begin the reconstruction effort. The ABC's Pacific Affairs reporter Liam Fox joined the Australian Defence Force as it got to work in one of the worst hit areas, Coro Island. HMAS Canberra is on its first deployment, a humanitarian mission to the outer islands of Fiji. It's a big task for the largest ship ever built for the Australian Navy. So we can have an impact across the whole Fiji archipelago while still here focusing primarily on the rebuilding of Coro, which is one of the worst hit islands in the archipelago. On board the Canberra are three seamen with close family ties to Fiji. My mum, she lives in South Sabah, my dad still lives in South Sabah and they were over the moon. They were just happy for me to be able to uh, come back to my motherland and uh, be able to help out. I felt blessed to come over and help my fellow countrymen. Parents were proud, they were loving it. Any way I can help over here is just a big, big blessing. To me, being Fijian uh, and going over, we get to make a direct impact on on Fiji and, and our presence, not only our presence, but what we get to do when we get across the islands is, um, is helping lives and rebuilding their community. That rebuilding is underway here on Coro Island, one of the first areas in Fiji to feel Cyclone Winston's fury and one of the hardest hit. Nine people died here, either crushed by buildings as they were blown apart or drowned in the large waves that swamped coastal villages. On the ground, the devastation is even more horribly clear. Lhasa Drusa Divyalingi is cleaning up what's left of his home. Only this timber. I collected from up the hill. Up there. I collected from there. Yeah, it was blown all the way up there? Yeah, blown up the, all the way up there. He plans to rebuild his house, but he'll move it to higher ground and he's glad help has arrived to get his community back on its feet. Everything is good. Yeah. It's good for you to come and help us to rebuild our home. Eh? Yeah. Because now we didn't have anything left in our house. Everything was to be during the cycle. 120 Australian soldiers are now on Coro. They've brought hundreds of tons of heavy equipment, building materials, food and water with them. The first job is to clear the mountains of debris so the rebuilding can start. It's hard going work, it's hot and heavy work, but you know, if you're not sweating, it's not fun. It's not a combat mission, but the diggers are relishing it nonetheless. It's really rewarding being able to engage with the people and the populace and have them tell you what it was like and have them tell you had their experience of what happened. It really opens up your mind to how privileged you are elsewhere and how such a catastrophic event can change everyone else's lives. The community is banding together to get through the disaster. Despite the devastation, there's always time for a bowl of kava Bula. to reflect on the mammoth task ahead and the help on offer to rebuild their lives. There's not a lot of people in the village, especially boys. There's uh, uh, plenty of girls in the village and they can't do this work here. So yeah, it'll, be, it'll take some time for us to, to get back. Uh, but uh, this uh, military force coming in from uh, Australia and Fiji They've been working with us and uh, yeah, we've been progressing day by day.